Hi, my name is Yussi Salavara and I'm a co-founder and managing partner of Antler. Welcome to Demo Day, brought to you by Antler, the investor backing the world's most driven founders from day zero to greatness. Held in partnership with Stripe, the complete payment processing platform for businesses. During this event, you will hear from the founders of our latest and most promising portfolio companies in Southeast Asia. Antler is proud to be backing them and we have also backed over 600 startups globally, of which 160 are in Southeast Asia. Despite the challenging macroeconomic environment, we could not be more excited for what the future holds. We're optimistic there's no better time to build than now. Founders are more inspired than ever, and Antler will double down to invest over $100 million in early stage startups across Southeast Asia. Founders, if you're looking to build something great, consider partnering with Antler to get an unfair advantage from day zero. Our Southeast Asia programs are held in Singapore, Indonesia, and Vietnam. Find out more at antler.co. Investors, after each pitch, you can connect with the founding teams to find out more and express your interest in investing. Once again, welcome and enjoy the show. Hi, I'm Wan Jun, co-founder of Go. We champion the entrepreneurial spirit in every creator. Do you know that the global creator economy today is worth more than $100 billion, with more than 50 million people identifying themselves as creators? In recent creator news, Mr. Beast, an American YouTube creator, broke a world record for the most burgers sold in a single day by a single restaurant the day he opened his restaurant. Jeffree Star Cosmetic by Jeffree Star, who's one of the biggest names in the makeup and beauty industry, has an estimated annual revenue of $45 million with $0 in paid ad spend. With ad revenues and brand sponsorship values decreasing, creators are always looking for alternative income streams and selling physical products is one of the top four ways. Even though creator brands are increasingly common today, these creators merely make up 10% of the market. We spoke to creators and found the gap. Creators love doing creative things, but hate the hassle. So, the sheer thought of the tedious product creation process scares them to take the next steps. While there are countless tools to simplify content creation, there is a lack of tools to simplify product creation. We found an opportunity and started Go, a one-stop solution that enables anyone to create and launch a product by simplifying the process. At Go, unlike traditional marketplaces that list suppliers, we provide an extensive catalogue of products across multiple categories like fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and even F&B for creators to customise and white label. We've done the hard work of sourcing, sampling, and negotiating with the best suppliers so creators do not have to. They simply connect their social handles, choose products recommended for their audience, and get an immediate quotation when they upload their design. Communication with suppliers is streamlined, and creators can track the progress on the dashboard. Gould's vision is to champion the entrepreneurial spirit by inspiring and empowering anyone to launch enduring brands. We see an opportunity beyond just supply chain management. For our next phase, we will be launching commerce solutions such as fulfillment, integration to marketplaces, and quick checkouts, allowing creators to go from ideation to audience all within a single platform. We want to build an entire ecosystem for creators of these five core pillars and give them a collaborative space to build the future of creator brands. On the supplier side, we're aggressively growing our assortment and network around the world to ensure that we have the highest quality products at the best price, even with a low minimum order. Being global from day one, we will be able to expand into new markets quickly. Our business model is simple. We charge a 30% markup on supplier cost while creators use our platform as a premium. As we launch more features, we'll introduce a subscription. In the next five years, it is predicted that 1 billion people will identify themselves as creators. To date, we've acquired 20 creators and have completed about 10 projects. Some of these creators have never done much previously and took the leap with Go. 
We are also really excited to share that we're in strategic partnerships with some of the largest creator platforms and entertainment agencies in this region. With these partnerships, we plan to onboard 800 creators by 2024. With an estimated spend of $4,000 per creator, we will generate more than $3 million in GMV in our first year. Singapore is just our testing ground. Once the market is established, we will expand into the surrounding countries. Here's the team. I have extensive experience in working with influencers and have launched hundreds of brands on marketplaces, while Bernard has strong relationships with suppliers all around the world. Together, we possess complementary skill sets that will bring this business forward and quickly. We're currently looking for strategic partners and investors who are passionate about our mission to bring transformation to the creator economy. Here's my contact details and we would love to hear from you. Hi, I'm Anurag, co-founder and CEO of Surplus. We are a B2B platform for buying and selling excess inventory in the pharma sector. Our journey started back in December 2020. At the peak of COVID, we started trading in pharma products. During that time, we realized how volatile the demand and supply are in the pharma market and how less is the tech penetration. While talking to people across the industry, we identified this hugely ignored problem of excess stock. Every year, companies, hospitals, government and traders lose billions of dollars worth of inventory due to surplus stock and expired goods. This leads to blocked capital, disrupted billing cycles, lowered bottom lines and expensive warehousing. Adding to this, there is also the additional cost of disposal of goods. This is not just a financial loss to the company, but an economic loss to the country. Our solution, surplus. Surplus is a one-stop solution to discover, match, and liquidate excess inventory. We are solving this through our four major verticals. Our data analytics tool identifies and manages demand and supply. Our live inventory trading platform provides stock visibility globally. A cloud-based tool to help our customers identify, evaluate, and push inventory for liquidation. And finally, third-party integration with logistics, payments, and finance to provide our customers peace of mind. We are very proud to showcase our traction. To date, we have transacted over 2.5 million USD in GMV. We are working with more than 40 plus multinational companies and are continuously adding more. We also have more than 10K products in our SKUs and have access to over $100 million worth of surplus inventory globally. Indian pharma market is valued at around $63 billion by 2023, of which we expect 10% as a surplus market. The global pharma manufacturing today is at a half a trillion dollar and expected to grow to over a trillion dollar by 2028. If you look at surplus market, we are looking at a hundred billion dollar worth of opportunity. Once we have established ourselves in pharma, there are other industries like oil and gas, automobile and construction facing similar problems. We work on a commission-based business model where we charge anything between 5 to 10 percent of GMV to our buyers. Resellers pay a flat fee of 5 percent and listings are free for sellers. In the future, we can charge for the analytics tool once we have enough data and also charge a percentage commission from our partners in logistics and finance. Dumping precious medicines and chemicals is not just harmful to nature, but also denies people in need of primary health care. At Surplus, as part of our social initiative, we have already donated over 10K worth of medicines that would have been otherwise thrown away. Our goal? is to reduce wastage and help people in need. I'm the CEO of Surplus. I'm a software engineer and a Cambridge alumni. I have around 15 years of experience building tech. I'm an also a two-time entrepreneur. I take care of tech, business development, and marketing at Surplus. Sagar is the CEO and a certified chartered accountant. He has a vast experience in finance and has been an entrepreneur himself. He is also an active pharma trader and our hands on the ground. Sagar takes care of sales and operations. We also have Vinny, our antler partner, helping us through our journey at Surplus. We want to build our tech to scale globally. And based on our work with our clients, we are very clear on our roadmap to creating an effective solution for our customers. We have the data platform of trading at the core and more features coming up eventually. We are growing fast. 
We need industry connections and capital to sustain and fuel our hyper growth. We know the market and we know our customers. We also have the first mover advantage who is solving this significant problem in a lucrative industry at this scale. Thank you for your time. And as we say, check with surplus before you buy. Hi, I'm Sharon, co-founder and CEO of Choice. Employee well-being is predicted to have the greatest impact on future workplaces. But do you know, while 90% organizations want to improve their well-being program, most are struggling to design and implement due to lack of expertise and tools. Current solutions assume one-size-fits-all approach. They are hard to navigate, expensive especially for small-medium business, and fail to meet the evolving needs of the modern workforce. Therefore, we are on a mission to transform employee well-being. Choice is a digital chief well-being officer that provides people personalized care while maximizing organizational impact. Employers, therefore, will be able to concentrate on growing their business as Choice while taking care of their employee well-being comprehensively. Instead of focusing on one vertical, Choice will tackle the interconnection among physical, mental, social, and financial well-being of a whole person. We provide three strategic solutions which are holistic well-being, social impact, and dynamic life insurance to bring this vision to life. So Sunny is an employee working in a company who hired Choice recently. For the first time log on, she will complete a well-being diagnosis. Based on the result, her profile is created and she will receive a personalized benefit plan and get access to the well-being support from our partners. As she builds in her habits, all her healthy behaviors such as working, cycling, meditating, and saving will be converted into Sunny's choice of charitable donations. Last but not least, Sunny's life insurance coverage will increase as she becomes healthier. With our end-to-end data-driven approach, employers no longer need to guess what their people actually need. In addition, the live dashboard will continuously allow them to track their organizational well-being inside and ROI. Our business model is B2B2C. Most of our income will come from employer subscription fee, and we will charge a commission from our partners. Unlike the existing customized perks companies or discount programs, Choice Gamification and AI Engine will drive the healthy ecosystem by making employees healthier, reducing employers' costs, and improving the product thickness of our partners. This is a proven model by other markets such as US, UK, and Latin America. In the next five years, Asia will be leading the growth of corporate well-being area due to its fastest growth of working population, as well as the growing awareness of well-being management. My co-founder Vanessa and I have the same passion for well-being. I built many fintech solutions in my previous innovation role. Vanessa has witnessed three companies IPO and co-founded a startup before. Our CTO Abzo has more than 14 years work experience in tech and startup world. We launched our beta product in September. Within two months, we are serving more than 100 registered users across five paid clients. We also have 36 companies in the pipeline covering more than 6,000 users. In addition to date, we have signed 10 product partners and three channel partners. To continue this, we want you to join this opportunity with us. We are raising our seed round very soon to enable us to become the go-to solution for well-being in APAC and reach 10 million revenue in 2025. Together, let's make work life more humanized and meaningful. And now you have the choice. Thank you.
Hello, everyone. I'm Araj Mohandas, the CEO and co-founder of GrowTech. Online sellers in Southeast Asia don't have access to technology, do not know how to utilize the data available to them, thereby resulting in extremely inefficient operations. In fact, over 15 million such small and medium sellers across Southeast Asia face the similar issue, thereby resulting in over $25 billion loss in potential sales with a market expected to reach a trillion dollars in just under 10 years' time, this sales gap is going to widen. And that's where we come in, introducing Grow, your intelligent e-commerce manager. Grow is a web-based solution that utilizes data to optimize the seller's online business. At Grow, we want to provide access to technology that is highly automated, easy to use, and affordable. We want to utilize data to provide actionable insights and recommendations for our online sellers, all with a focus on in-platform optimization. We currently work with sellers from Tokopedia and Shopee, but want to support all platforms in the region. Our first capability is the analytics dashboard that combines all your various stores across the different e-commerce platforms onto a single dashboard. It also shows you key metrics in a highly simplified manner at your fingertips. The second and star feature is the campaign manager that pulls various campaigns from different platforms onto Grow, then prompts you to upload your data. And that's it. Our in-house recommendation system analyzes several parameters and throws an output on what products you should be promoting using which tools on the platform. It also shows you a growth range for the various key metrics that we track. Our ads data analytics also uses a recommendation system to bucket products into ones that you should continue to promote or not, and also shows you a growth potential for them. In five short months, we have serviced 20 customers, launched our MVP, and have over 200 qualified SMEs on waitlist in our first market, Indonesia. What's amazing to see is that our merchants have achieved over 12% growth in additional revenues, along with key metrics growing really well. This translates to over $60,000 in annualized growth in additional revenues. We charge anywhere between $55 a month to $100 a month, depending on the plan you choose and the capabilities you need. Over the next 18 months, we want to service over 2,000 customers, generate over a million dollars in additional revenues for them, and have a healthy ARR ourselves. With such a massive market opportunity, even a small percentage of the pie will enable us to generate over $160 million in revenues by 2027. And this is the team to get you there. Nathaniel, my co-founder, having built several products with major tech companies in Indonesia, is leading the tech development at Grow. Having built several retail organizations myself, I'll be leading the business end of things at Grow. While our vision is to be the all-in-one e-commerce manager across the Southeast Asian region with a lineup of products, we believe that we are only the tip of the iceberg at Grow. We've built the platform, We've shown you market traction, and we're now at a place for rapid expansion and growth. We need your capital to add fuel to fire and seize this market opportunity. Thank you. Everyone loves a good holiday. It usually goes like this. You get super excited, you grab a bunch of friends, and you're like, where shall we go? Tokyo, Phuket, Seoul, the list is endless. You then get into the nitty gritty of things. What dates work for everyone? What can people afford? What does everyone want to do? And after spending months on a WhatsApp chat with at least 50 different tabs open on your laptop, turns out no one can agree. It seems like too much work and it all falls apart. It's not because people don't want to go or because they don't have the money. 
But it's this hidden market of potential travelers who don't travel because it all feels a bit too complicated. But what if you could book a trip with friends in just five minutes? How do we do this? First, Odyssey gives friends the tools to simplify their holiday planning. Create your holiday based on everyone's schedules and collaboratively organize your trip itinerary. Second, Odyssey transforms discovery by allowing you to search for recommendations from people you know and trust, your friends. Everything you need to know about your holiday is in one place, so you never lose track of what's going on. We launched on iOS and Android in Singapore just a few weeks ago, with over 400 trips already being planned on our platform. We're also seeing early signs of super users who love using our app and are actively promoting it within their communities. So by January, we'll be launching an incentivized referral program to leverage on this word of mouth marketing and scale up our customer acquisition. We're also on our way to have a thousand trips planned on our platform by the start of next year. In Southeast Asia, there are now 32 million affluent millennial travelers spending $3,000 annually on trips with their friends. In five years, by enabling just 5% of these millennials to take one extra trip a year, we'll be able to earn $100 million in annual revenue. Our business model is simple. Odyssey is a free to use app and our revenue is driven by two components. First, we're now a licensed travel company in Singapore and that enables us to take hotel, villa and experience bookings directly on the app across Southeast Asia. Second, we'll be launching a local concierge service to match up users with local experts and guides. Our team has the experience required to scale up Odyssey. I come from the travel industry and have worked extensively with key stakeholders, including hotels and airlines. I'll be leading all our business development and marketing efforts. Max is a technical founder who's previously built and launched a D2C app. He'll be leading all our technical and operational development. We want travelers to always reach for Odyssey first to make their trips happen, no matter how complicated. Plan, organize, and book every type of vacation, stress-free and with minimal effort. Whether it's a bachelorette party, a family gathering, or a couple's getaway, Odyssey will make your trip happen like magic. So, if you're someone who's ever experienced the tediousness of organizing a holiday, do check out our app from the app stores. Right now, our focus is on growing our users, and we're not actively fundraising. But if you're keen to learn more about what we're doing, we'd love to chat. Thank you. Hello everyone, I am Ali bin Shaheen, co-founder of Pravda. Being a manpower recruiter in Pakistan, whenever we used to post a job, we would get hundreds of CVs of blue-collar workers. Unfortunately, 90% of them would be irrelevant. It would take us days to find the right CVs. And even if we got the right CVs, there was always an issue of unpredictable worker quality. And this was happening again and again. So we went out into the market and started talking to hundreds of blue-collar workers. And what we realized was that these blue collar workers do not have access to the opportunities posted by us. They have to rely on an agent who would extort money from them to access these jobs. And even the jobs that were coming their way from these agents would not be relevant to their skill set, would not be near their home because of which they struggle to find relevant opportunities. And what we realized was that there's a match problem in the market. To counter this, we created Rapta. Rapta means connect. Rapta is an on-demand job matchmaking platform and we're starting it in Pakistan. Why Pakistan? It's the fifth most populous country in the world, having 57 million blue collar workers. It is a market of $86 billion. And why we feel this is the right time to have a tech play? 
in the last six years, 110 million internet users have entered Pakistan. And this includes the blue collar workers that we're targeting. So this is the right time. And the way that we are doing it is that these workers can go on our application, sign up with their profile, put up their work details, put up their personal details. A job is notified to them based on their skill set and the location. Once that job is notified, some questions are asked based on that job. And then the person is screened and filtered in front of the recruiter who within a matter of 24 to 48 hours can recruit these individuals. Well, on the other hand, what we have done for the recruiter is that after hiring, they can verify the document of this worker. They can manage the attendance through the application and also rate the workers, allowing for a big data pool, which will not only facilitate future employers, but also facilitate the current workers to get better opportunities. We have seen a great market response, 40% month on month user growth, $30,000 worth of salaries processed and transacted on our platform. And we have seen 7,000 people joining it with 1,000 plus jobs coming up in the next month. We believe that this has been great because the way that we have matched companies have been saying that 85 to 90% of worker productivity has increased because of Ramza. And secondly, the workers find it very easy that within a matter of five minutes, they can apply to three different jobs relevant to their skill set. And that is why we have seen this great market response. The way that we're making money, we charge a hiring fee, which is a one-time fee. And once that person is placed, we charge a monthly recurring percentage on the payroll that is run through Ramza. Currently, we're focusing on the warehouse and logistics segment, and we've created the worker application. What we aim to do eventually is move towards the second largest sector, which is retail and construction and not only limit ourselves to just one city, but also expand it to other tier one cities. And as I said, we don't want to limit ourselves. So we also want to expand beyond Pakistan in the Southeast Asian and the MENA region. And that is where we feel the investment will double. And that is where my next slide comes to is that we're looking at a $750,000 raise which should be used to focus on this international expansion, local expansion, and creating a pool of great workers so that we have an application, which is a super app for these workers. And the reason we believe we can do it, we have people coming from Malaysia, from the US, from Uber in the US, from Grab, and all of them are coming together to make sure that this blue collar marketplace is established. And this is the team of experienced world-class operator looking for you to connect and looking for you to invest. Thank you. Hello, I'm Stefan Lukic. I'm the CEO of Civils AI, and we're making every construction project easier to design. Did you know that every year close to $2 trillion is lost due to data errors in the construction industry? And this is especially a problem in the early stages of construction projects, where engineers such as myself will be faced with the maximum number of unknowns and uncertainty on the project. This was me one year ago. I'd be doing lots of these early stage designs and planning for construction projects. And one thing I found is that every construction project starts with some understanding of what's underground. The problem here is that this data is nearly always trapped in PDFs. And engineers like myself would spend lots of our time searching through these PDFs, finding the data we need, and plugging it into our engineering calculators and tools. This problem my problem inspired the creation of Civils AI. It's the reason I quit my comfortable corporate job back in January. So what do we do with Civils AI? We use an AI-driven approach to mine publicly available data and map the geology of major cities around the world. We then use this data to create Minecraft-esque environments in which engineers can simulate and run calculations on their construction projects. Why are we doing this now? So this hasn't been possible before today. Only recently with the smart cities movement have data sets such as these become publicly available. And data is seen as the new oil in the construction industry and access to data sets like this is seen as the top priority for a lot of engineering offices. Earlier this year, we launched an MVP to test the hypothesis, seeing whether or not linking in engineering calculators and data is useful to engineers. 
And we've proven that it is. We've grown at over 9% per week since we launched in January 2022, up to over 10,000 monthly active users. We're supported by a global community of over 100 engineers from around the world. And our software has been used in over 184 countries so far, and we're only just getting started. Let's take a look at our product roadmap. So throughout 2022, we've been launching engineering calculators, connecting in construction data. The next step on the product roadmap is an evolution of this idea. Lots of industry data is trapped in PDFs, in particular geological records. We're developing AI models that can extract and digitize this information automatically, allowing engineers to create 3D models and simulations of their construction projects. We're then working with data providers from across the construction industry, including the British Geological Survey, where we have access to over 1.5 million geological records that are publicly available, which can be enabled in these engineers' models. We're then taking what we learn in the UK to the rest of Europe, North America, and beyond. We're monetizing through a freemium model for businesses, and we're currently working with a select group of engineering offices to test monetization and willingness to pay. We have the perfect team for this. I have a background in civil engineering, and I'm a full stack web developer. My co-founder Mirko is a past founder of an AI SaaS startup with seven years in tech and strategy consulting. Our seed round's currently open, and we're looking to fundraise our next 18th month roadmap. Our vision is to become the Google Maps of the underground. When Google first started, their mission was to organize and digitize the world's information. Our mission is to digitize the world. Transitory is a climate tech organization where we are building a digital monitoring, reporting, and verification tool for nature-based solutions such as regenerative agriculture, focused on generation of voluntary carbon credits and targeted at bridging financial gaps in the ecosystem. There are three simple steps to tackling climate change with the help of nature, protect, manage, and restore. Nature can absorb 10 gigaton of carbon dioxide per year. Indonesia and India alone account for close to 182 million hectares of arable land. However, 86% of the farmers in the Indo-Pacific region lack greenhouse gas visibility and manageability, proper governance, and access to finance for regenerative projects. We are building a digital solution to surface carbon footprint visibility, showcase manageability, and redirect capital commitments to empower regenerative agriculture. Our three core value propositions are the digital MRV platform which enable the carbon sequestration process to be transparent and highly reliable, the AI solution that enables us to bypass long gestation periods and promote pre-purchase of future carbon credits, and we provide seamless access to trusted granular near real-time data for investment, insurance, and governance stakeholders. The technology involves satellite imagery and soil data-enabled AI models. As compared to traditional soil sampling methods, these AI models are 95% accurate, 10 times cheaper, and 60 times faster. The product allows end users to monitor, report, and verify carbon credits, provide actionable soil and crop management insights to the farm owners, and allow us to handle ESG reporting for the farms and activate regenerative finance for these projects. We are scoping three very high growth market sectors, global voluntary carbon offset, low emission food, and global green finance. Just targeting Indo-Pacific region and impacting 1% of the market successfully, we can aim to be a multi-billion dollar company. We are monetizing with a freemium model. All the essentials in relation to setting up a regenerative agriculture project involving the registries and generating and selling carbon credits is done without any upfront cost. We charge 10% commission on the carbon credit sales. As we dive into deeper insights of maximizing carbon sequestration potential and guaranteed returns on the farms and enable ESG reporting, we start charging a $4 per hectare per year recurring fee. We have onboarded 60,000 hectares in three months and we are in talks to onboard another 40,000 hectares of farmland. We have 100,000 plus credits ready to sell. 
This allows us to generate a potential revenue of $1.5 million for 2023. We have a very strong pipeline going into the next year. At a target of 400,000 plus hectares, the annual revenue potential will grow to nearly $4 million. The market is seeing very strong competitors pop up in the West in the last two years, primarily across carbon credit marketplaces and satellite data analytics. Transitory is bringing the best of both worlds and combining that with integrated financial solutions such as pre-finance of future carbon credits. We have a team that brings credibility to the table. I have spent a significant amount of time in venture capital, investing in tech startups in South Korea and Southeast Asia. I have been an innovation consultant for major agricultural corporations in Southeast Asia for close to two years, assisting them to incorporate advanced tech in their daily operations. Vishan is a serial entrepreneur and a corporate venture builder. He has nine years of experience in the B2B sector in digital products and operations. He owns a family-run agriculture business where they grow and export one of the best coffees to the West. A strong advisory panel is being put together to address expertise across digital MRV, soil and crop science, GIS data analysis, carbon credit asset management, and agribusiness operations in order to guide us forward in our journey. We are transitory, thank you, and we are open to connect and discuss further. And that's a wrap for Demo Day, brought to you by Antler, the investor backing the world's most driven founders from day zero to greatness. Held in partnership with Stripe, the complete payment processing platform for businesses. Founders, if you're looking to build something great, consider partnering with Antler to get an unfair advantage from day zero. Our Southeast Asia programs are held in Singapore, Indonesia, and Vietnam. Find out more at antler.co. Investors, if you would like to know more about Antler, our funds, or partnering with us, let's get in touch via Singapore at antler.co. Thank you all for watching, and we hope to see you soon.